Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to clone a hard drive and organize your PC storage. Alright guys let's get started. For today's video we'll be using the latest 4D disk partition manager which is an all in one disk partition manager to manage your PC storage pretty easily with the help of this tool. Now you can try it out from its official link which I'll put in description box below. It has the following features like disk partition or cloning, windows OS migration, disk partition management, partition recovery as well as disk converter. Now all of these features work really well and we'll be trying out all the special tools in this software like resizing, extending, splitting, merging and lot more. With that being said, let's start setting up this tool. To start setting it up, you can simply tap on install settings and choose the directory where you want to store your 4 dig partition manager. Afterwards, simply tap on this button and wait until the process is completed. Now this video has been sponsored by Tenorshare but I'll be giving you guys my honest opinion on this versatile tool and showing you all the ways you can use it to manage your PC storage. Now once the setup is complete, simply tap on the start button and here we go guys, now we can start using this tool. But before doing that, I recommend you to tap on this profile icon and make sure to register your 4D Dig Partition Manager by logging into your Tenorshare account. After you are logged in, you will get an interface similar to this where you get option for migrating OS, converting disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. You also get partition management which I'll talk about later on in this video. You get partition recovery where they have added a brand new feature known as data errors which will permanently delete your data and make sure that it cannot be recovered. You also get recovery partitions if you want to recover your deleted partition or repair it if you have some trouble. Anyways let's start with the first feature which is going to be clone disk. Now you can either clone your partition or your disk to copy data from one disk to another. For example if you want to copy your data from your internal hard drive to external hard drive you can do this in just a single click. So let me start off by showing you how it works. So right here I have my disk 1 which has 4 partitions. We also have my disk 0 as well as disk 2. Now let's say I want to copy my disk 0 into disk 2. You can do that pretty easily. So let's tap on switch source disk afterwards. Uh, select the disk which you want to clone. For example, disk 1 has been selected. Afterwards, tap on the continue option. Once that has been done, select a target disk to receive data from the source disk. So I'll simply select the disk 2 which has 114 GB of free storage. Now here as disk 1 is bigger than disk 2, it won't properly work but let me explain. Let's tap on the continue option. Now cloning will overwrite all the data on the target disk. Are you sure you want to clone disk 1 to disk 2 which means that all the data stored in disk 2 will be overwritten so make sure to take precaution and take proper backups. This process will only work if your target disk size is greater than your source disk size. But don't worry let me show you another cloning method which is known as cloning partition. Now as currently I don't have enough storage for the disk 1 I won't be able to clone the entire disk but there is a solution. For that we get another option known as clone partition. Now if you go to the partition management section you will be able to create any size of partition from your data. For today's video, I'll simply choose my disk 0 which is of 1 TB and afterwards I'll simply tap on the split option as we want to create a brand new partition. So here you will be able to see the new partition size and you can resize it according to the amount of size you actually want the partition to be. So if I just go ahead and move the slider around, you will be able to see the remaining size. Now we'll set it to 10 MB for today's video and you can also choose the drive letter, file system format as well as cluster size. I'll simply tap on the OK button afterwards tap on sure. Once that has been done, tap on execute task and then tap on OK. And you will notice that operations are in process. Now it will give you an warning saying that partition D is in use by other programs. Are you sure you want to continue? So this is only a warning message. You can follow it to avoid file corruptions if you are running some applications in the D drive. I'll simply press the OK button. And there we go as you will be able to see it says all operations have been completed successfully and a brand new partition has been created. I'll simply press the done button afterwards we'll go to clone disk option and clone partition. Now you'll be able to see the brand new partition which has been created here. So I can simply tap on the continue option to select it as a source partition. Afterwards simply choose the disk which should act as a clone. For example the 10 MB partition which we just created will be cloned into the E drive storage which I have and it will have the exact files and all the material from my 10 MB partition but in your case it might be an entire disk. Afterwards tap on the start button and it will override the previous data so make sure that you have taken backup for it. 
Once that has been done, as you guys can see, it says clone successfully, successfully clone partition F2 partition E. Now if we tap on the finish button and go to partition management, you will be able to see my clone partition has been successfully created and the remaining space in my hard disk is unallocated. I can create a new partition or new disk from this size as well with the help of create feature which is present and select the size. For example, if I want to create 255 GB partitions, one for videos, one for games, we can do that as well. So here you will be able to see if you want to extend the partition, you can do that too by just go ahead and tapping on extend option afterwards simply go ahead and extend it to your desired size and simply tap on the ok button and yeah guys those were some of the features of 4 d partition manager you can create multiple partitions of your hard disk to organize your workspace a bit better and free up storage on your pc be sure to check out this tool from the official link given in description box below and thanks again to tenorshare for sponsoring this video anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye